if you want to know how to send a fax using Ring Central, I'm going to show you. First, you want to open up your Ring Central uh, phone app. It's a desktop app, just simply labeled Ring Central phone. Uh, this is at least one of the several ways in which to send a fax. There's multiple apps and multiple ways to send a fax. You can do it from your browser. You can do it from the uh, mobile app. You can do it from the Ring Central app uh, called Ring Central with a, kind of the big R here. And then you can also do it from the Ring Central phone app. So I'm going to show you how to do it from the Ring Central phone app in this video. Uh, the process is fairly similar on all of them. So there is at the bottom of your app here a button that says Compose Fax. Looks like a piece of paper with the corner folded. I'm going to click that, and this is how I'm going to send a fax. So don't get this confused with the envelope or messages where this is a list of all of your faxes that you have sent and received here, but it's not how you compose a new fax. So you're going to do click this button uh, down at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to type in uh, a name, or I can type in a number. Uh, so I've got a couple of entries of my own name. That's kind of funny. Uh, but I'm going to click one of them, and then I'm going to send myself a fax and put in all this information. Uh, this is the recipient details. So this is who I'm sending the fax to and what I want them to, to see. Uh, I'm going to say, here's my super duper important fax. And uh, then I can just drag a fax here. I can also click the paper clip to attach a file. But I am going to grab this file and just drop it. Uh, supports a variety of different file types. As long as the total is 20 megs or less, then you can send these files. So it could be a Word doc, it could be a PDF, it could be an image. Uh, there's a whole long list of file types that are supported. And um, if I uh, wanted to send it later, like schedule this to be sent later, I could do that, or I could just send it now. Um, and so I'm going to just click send now, and it's going to do that. Um, I skipped over uh, a, a little part here, though, where you could uh, customize a cover page if you wanted to. So you can choose a variety of different um, cover pages uh, that are default, and including uh, upload your own cover page if you want to do that. So I'm just kind of using something simple. It's faxing doesn't need to be fancy. Nobody ever faxes anyway. So we'll just keep it simple. I'm going to get an email, um, a couple of different emails. One, when the fax goes uh, through and it says either a uh, failure or success. This one is uh, um, the actual fax of me receiving one. So this is kind of what it looks like when on the receiving end, when the person receives the fax. If you didn't send it to um, a physical fax machine, which you can do, but if you send it to someone else who's on Ring Central, um, this is what it'll look like. They'll get it as a PDF, um, and you just simply open up the uh, attachment, and it looks like this. And here's the standard fax cover letter, and uh, here's my little. Emoji, faxing even supports emojis, people. Look at that. Um, and who says faxing is, is, is an ancient dinosaur? Uh, so that's a little bit about how to fax with Ring Central. Super simple and uh, easy. And hopefully you can get some of those old fax machines out of there, uh, get some of those analog lines out of there, and start using Ring Central fax.